brothers and sisters. My name is Linda and my channel is called Simple Help Now. I hope and pray that you are looking for the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ, our Savior. Jesus is coming soon. In my last video, I shared a word I felt that the Lord gave me concerning world events. I have waited until now to share this final word that I received on January 26, 2024 while I was traveling. As we see prophecy unfold in the world, we now have more understanding of the times we live in. This last word has to do with the United States primarily. As I share it, I want to encourage you to keep your eyes on Jesus, not to be afraid. Jesus is our protector and our fortress and our faith and trust remain in him. No matter what transpires, God is in control of world events. Before I give it, I want to read the scripture, Revelation 3, 10 through 11. Because you have kept my command to persevere, I also will keep you from the hour of trial, which shall come upon the whole world to test those who dwell on the earth. Behold, I am coming quickly. Hold fast what you have, that no one may take your crown. This is a promise from God. We will be kept from the hour of trial that is coming to test the whole world. We will not be here. If we were here during it, the disruptions and judgments would affect us and we would be tested. However, the scripture I just read said that we will be kept from this test. We have crossed from death into life and are in him. This word is to warn us believers to pray and to trust God for deliverance. As always, take everything to the Lord and test it by the word of God. The Holy Spirit will guide us to all truth, even for events that haven't taken place yet. He is completely trustworthy, and God will explain his word as we ask. I gave the first part of this word in an earlier video a few weeks ago, so the beginning of it might be a repeat for some, but in order to keep continuity, I felt to share the complete word here. I want you to know that the emphasis of everything in our lives is Jesus and his kingship at this time. He is in control of the wars, the judgments, and he is reigning and will continue to rule. We have no reason to fear. We are confident in him. Here is the word that I felt he shared. Please feel free to test all the words, and here it is. My children, the rapture is soon. The rumblings have begun. The dead will rise first, and after that, the godly righteous. Things have been set into motion now, and there is no more time. My work with the Gentile church will draw to a close, yet there will be those who will be saved. My righteous bride will be by my side as I rule over the rebellious nations. My eye is on Israel, my firstborn whom I cherish. I will go after the one, Israel, who carry my name in heritage. The rulers and planners of this age will come to nothing and will be brought into their own net. The afflictions they have planned will be brought back to them like Haman. The Egyptians will go after harlotry, but they will be exposed for their treachery to the United States. They, the Egyptians, will suffer loss and also Damascus and Syria will be destroyed. Pakistan will align with the Muslim brothers. Korea will take a direct hit from North Korea and suffer devastation. But my own there will be removed. The U.S. will rally around Taiwan but lose momentum and fail to cover her. China will take Taiwan after I remove my people there. Sadly, they will suffer greatly. Russia provoked will warn the United States and without her heeding the warning, Russia will fire a warning missile to the East Coast. 
In response, the United States will engage in active war and will fall. At that point, my hand of protection will be removed. The gates have fallen, fallen, and the sound of weeping and travail will be heard, but it's too late, too late. Russia will occupy the East Coast and China the West. There will be pockets of resistance, but she, the nation, will fall, and great shall be her fall. The nations will then stand aloof and refuse to come to her aid, and cities of magnitude will burn and become a heap of rubble and ash. The hope of many will fail as freedoms are removed. The remnant believers will hide or be killed. There will be much injustice without mercy. Know this, my children, and know this, my children and my beloved bride will escape these things. She has remained faithful and will rule with me in eternity. Like the scripture says, my chosen and beloved people will be brought to safety. The wicked will be forgotten in the dust. And that was the word. Whew, that was a hard one. And it is a hard one. But Jesus is in control. The Lord gave me these scriptures as a confirmation. 1 Samuel 2, 2 through 10. Please take time to read this as it aligns with God's judgment of wickedness. This word is not to cause fear, as Jesus is telling us that his bride will be taken out before these events happen. Knowing these things gives urgency for us to be in prayer for people and for nations. Keep in mind that these events will take time to unfold and most will happen after the church is gone. If you aren't saved, now is the time. Give your life to Jesus now before the rapture happens. We as believers are sealed in him and protected in he will call us up soon. We are safe and secure in Jesus. He is our fortress and rock of defense, and his wrath is never directed toward his beloved bride. He loves us and has made a way of escape for us through his blood. We dwell in Jesus, the Son, sealed by the Holy Spirit and reconciled to our Father. We are greatly loved by him. For God has not given us the spirit of fear, but of love, power, and a sound mind. I want you to leave, I want to leave you with this encouragement from 1 John 3.13. Behold, what manner of love the Father has bestowed on us that we should be called the children of God. Therefore, the world does not know us because it did not know him. Beloved, now we are the children of God, and it has not yet been revealed what we shall be. But we shall know that when he is revealed, we shall be like him, for we shall see him as he is. And everyone who has this hope purifies himself just as he is pure. And also in Romans 5, 9, it says, Much more than having been, been justified by his blood, we shall be saved from wrath through him. With all that is happening, Jesus is calling us to be up in heaven with him forever. Stay focused, release the world, and pray. Take hold of eternal life. He is coming for us, and he will take us home. See you soon in the clouds. This is Linda with Simple Help Now.